Today is July 10th, 2020. This is Patty Scobie reporting to you from Concord, Michigan about making ink dabbers for transferring ink directly to the surface of a piece of paper. These are examples of dabbers. I use this diagram as my guide when constructing these tools. It is from the book Black Tigers by Kenneth Starr. The size of your dabber is determined by what you use as a core. The cores for each of these is a scrap of wood, similar to these two scraps of wood. The core for this dabber is a cork. I will be using this cork for the dabber I make. In addition to the cork, I will be using a ball of cotton, a piece of cotton cloth, approximately nine inches square, a piece of plastic, a circle cut from wool, and a piece of silk or cotton, also approximately nine inches square. This cloth should be smooth with a fine, even weave. I will also be using some thread. The first step is to cover the ball of cotton and the cork with my piece of cotton cloth and to secure it with thread. Now I need to spend a few moments to get the cloth as smooth as possible by adjusting it a little bit. With this top part and the edges smooth, I am ready to proceed to the next step. I'm ready to attach the plastic. For the final step, with the wool in the center of the cloth, I place the wrapped cork on the wool and bring the cloth up to secure with thread in several places. Again, I adjust the cloth so that the surface of the dabber will be smooth. I've wrapped a length of thread above the cork, which will help form a handle for the dabber. To finish, I've wrapped one more length of thread around the top of the handle of the dabber. <laughs> 